12th largest school district in the state out of 500 school districts. We service about 11,200 students. We have a staff, professional staff, uh, support staff of about 1,300 employees. We were using Microsoft's product. One of the challenges that we had is that I had my four different spreadsheets of IP addresses and you know DHCP addresses and all the stuff that I had set up. My network administrator who managed the email, the backups, she had her spreadsheets. So a lot of times I would assign an IP address and I'd get a phone call. Why did you assign that IP address? I just assigned that IP address. So we were stepping on each other quite a bit. So that kind of drove us to a point where we were looking for, we wanted to kind of collapse our infrastructure, started to do some research, and that's when we discovered Infoblox and the DDI Manager. But the real beauty was that it consolidated and started tracking all of my IP addresses, so there was no more stepping on each other whenever we needed to assign an IP address. The product has a lot of depth to it, and what I love is that single pane of glass, I can go to one interface, and from that interface I can drill down into information. If you're talking about expanding your network, let's say you want to add a branch office, much easier to do on the grid, point, click, point, click, add a couple things. Oh, by the way, how does that look? I can get a map, and the map is awesome. Whereas opposed to the Microsoft product, you have to map it all out on paper, maybe use Visio, you've got to plan it, you've got to test it, you've got to roll it out, you've got to fix the mistake you made, and like I said with the grid, it's just bang, 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 make a mistake, oops, just back it off. So really, when you're looking at it from a time standpoint and a management standpoint, it just makes more sense. So when I was looking at the 20 critical controls, one of the things that it, it states very clearly is you have to know what's on your network. The reason that's important is because later I added a feature called DNS Firewall. And this is so brilliant. I just can't believe that, you know, that this product is on every single product out there because uh, it's just common sense. If the person goes to a website and DNS resolves web URLs to IP addresses, if it comes back and it knows that that's a bad website and the user shouldn't go there and doesn't even let them get there, I've just minimized my risk and my exposure. And oh, by the way, the way the DNS firewall works is it's not sitting in isolation, it's talking, it's phoning home. So as the bad guys move their servers, the DNS firewall is keeping up. One of the reports that I use a lot is, uh, it's an RPZ report. It basically says, these are your users and these are the bad sites they're trying to get to. So I was running a report one day and I saw in there an IP address, a 192.168 IP address. What was weird is because I don't hand those IP addresses out. Now in the past, I wouldn't have had that level of visibility. So I would have been spinning my wheels for probably a couple of weeks until we finally figured out that we had a botnet that was self-replicating in the building and that was affecting the, the computer performance, that was affecting the network performance. And so I was able to take three weeks of work and troubleshooting by various people trim it down to about five minutes with one person, just because of the visibility, just because of the DNS firewall and the RPZ report. And it's one of those no-brainers that I can put this in place, it gives me that level of security, and I'm one step ahead of the game. Wow, where do I start? The thing that I would say to anyone who's considering, you know, enterprise solution versus the free product, um, is that if you put yourself in an enterprise mindset, the idea of an enterprise mindset is that your job is to provide the best experience to your customers possible with the fewest resources. So when you look at your investment, for example, you're paying for that Microsoft license. Okay, So that's money you're spending. Um, you're paying for your time to set it up, to configure it, to manage. Every time there's an update, is it going to crash the system? Is it going to alter it? How does that impact you? It's a lot more complicated. So. If you look at the total cost of ownership long term, it's a free product, but you're spending a lot more time managing it than you would for another. Infoblox, in my opinion, pays for itself in a lot of the different things that it provides me. A level of information that I didn't have before, a single point where I can go and manage all of my IP addressing and want to make a change it's instantaneous, users don't have to wait. The amount of time it saves me in terms of trying to troubleshoot or resolve an issue. So, does it cost money? Yes. Is it worth the investment? It's worth 10 times the cost, but don't tell marketing that they'll charge me more money. <laughs>